Welcome back, cigar smoking friends. Today we got the 652 Toro Underground Shade by Drew Estates. We got a big panel today. We got Joe McCracken here. People's Choice Vinny D's back. And then, of course, we got Big Dan. In the background there, we got Cousin John. He's gonna give us some support. It seems like it's well constructed. Uh, it's uh, definitely Connecticut all the way. You can see that. I'm hoping it's supposed to be a medium body cigar that we get the medium flavor out of there. I'll tell you, it's got a, it's got like a uh, hay. I describe it as a hay smell to it. That uh, that pungency is going to add some interest to it, I think. This stick runs about 825, 850. Uh, good price for a cigar, so let's cut them up. You get that bite early on, but you do still get that kind of woody hay feel to it and it's the, something sweet in it. Definitely the first thing is the pepper. All right, back with the first third. Uh, still got a lot of that peppery taste. Uh, it's not as creamy as you think with a Connecticut cigar. One heck of a, a burn and a, a real nice draw. Uh, I'd say it's a medium, medium cigar. Uh, it's got some bite to it. I'm not getting any sweetness in there. It's kind of a, a dry, peppery, earthy. Though that's, ta that's, that's a lot tamer now than it was. But so far, so good. It's, so far, it's a great cigar. And it draws, again, it draws really well. And I love the burn. The ash just looks fantastic. At the halfway point, I'm not quite as far as some of the panel that smokes like a chimney here. <laughs> um, great cigar, uh, still a lot of pepper and I'm really surprised by that. It's burning almost perfectly. The ash is fantastic. The cigar itself, as you smoke it, it's holding together. It's not cracking or falling apart. You could probably smoke this anytime uh, and really enjoy it. Excellent cigar, great draw. The ash is perfect. Typical Drew Estates. Lots of smoke. There's been some comments here that uh, I smoke it a little quickly. Um, but it's smoothed out. It's got just enough pepper. Uh, the draw is unbelievable. For a person who is used to Connecticut shade cigars, uh, Connecticut wrapper, this is an excellent transition if you want to go to the next level of a cigar to get a little more flavor, a little more interest. There's still that slight hint of earthiness uh, and that that pungent smell I got and taste initially is calmed down, but it's still there and I think that makes it very interesting. I would give it a four and a half out of five. Um, I, I really enjoyed this. I would definitely buy a box of these cigars. Again, I'd recommend it to anybody. If you want a consistent cigar uh, where the flavor is not uh, overblown, but uh, it's good taste. This is the cigar, and I give it uh, a definite four. I would give the cigar a three and a half to four rating. Quality premium cigar, consistent all the way through with that hint of pepper throughout. I enjoyed it. I'm going to rate it a four. Um, I've tasted other Connecticut ones that are rated five, uh, but I would recommend this to anybody. Great smoke. 
Uh, I'm not as committed to Dan to order buying a box of it because it's kind of not my type of cigar in Connecticut. But you know what? It's a great cigar. Really smokes well. Somebody, we were hanging out. I'd be smoking it. So terrific, terrific cigar. I give it a four.